Hi guys, stay tuned while I make this delicious meal. Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. This is Auntie Danny, the kids' favorite auntie. I miss y'all. How y'all doing? I'm just doing a quick dinner tutorial for you guys. So I'm making a meatless meal. And what I'm doing, so last week I went to Costco's. I'm not showing sure because I'm looking crazy. Um, <laughs> but I had went to Costco's with my sisters. And, you know, on my IG, sometimes you get ideas like Costco, low carb, keto finds. So um, I ran into two that I got. So one is a box of, it's called Sensible Noodle, Natural Conjac Noodle. This is what it looks like. Okay. And it basically... For me, anyway, it takes the place of pasta. It takes the place of all the carbs, all the calories. Um, so this here, um, and this pack here, comes two packs that look like this. So it basically gives you two servings in each pack. So today, I'm going to use um, just this one. But I wanted to run down one, that one pack I just showed you has zero fat, zero saturated fat, zero trans fats, zero cholesterol, zero sodium. It has eight grams of carbs, but three dietary fibers, which means you'll have a net carb of five grams, zero sugars, one gram of protein, 60 milligrams of calcium, 1.4 milligrams of iron, 90 milligrams of potassium, okay? And so I've used this several times, um, different brands. So if I'm making like a spaghetti with sausage and a meat sauce, I'll use this. And when I tell you, it morphs into whatever you want to make, okay? Um, so today what I'm going to do is I had brought from Costco um, this keto fine, paleo friendly also, low carb. It is um, going to be a general souls cauliflower. So it comes, I, I threw out the, the whole box because I, I like to condense stuff, but it comes with this here, which is your cauliflower, which you will um, thaw out, drain the broth, and put it in your air fryer, your conventional oven, or your microwave. I chose to put this in my air fryer so that it can get nice and crispy, okay? So I got this on 400 for 9 to 12 minutes, and you must preheat your air fryer for 3 minutes. Okay, so it comes with that, and it also comes right here with the sauce, okay? So the, that's what it comes with. So what I'm going to do is, I got my waft out, it's already greased, and I'm going to transfer the cauliflower once it's done. I have about a minute left. It's looking a little crispy. I have about a minute left. I'm going to take that out and I'm going to saute it in the wok. Um, I also have some green onion here. And I also have some sesame seed oil. So I'm going to have that. Okay, now when it comes to this pasta, is a couple, it, it, it's a lot of steps <laughs> sometimes because it's in a liquid and the liquid smells a little earthy. So I take it out this pouch and I rinse it. What I have on the stove now is water boiling with some pink Himalayan sea salt and some grapeseed oil, sort of like how you would do your regular pasta, but I'm only going to boil this for three minutes, okay? So let me go ahead and do that now because the cauliflower will be ready soon. There you go. So I'm going to rinse this. And I learned about 
about this pasta, I want to say like last year or so. And I really like it because well, it reminds me of like Pad Thai noodles. And I love Pad Thai and I love Thai food. So it wasn't a stretch for me not to like it. So here it is. We're going to put it into the water. Okay. Everything is out the couch. So what y'all been up to? What's going on? We almost had spring. I know we had a couple of snow storms, child. But listen, <laughs> it's about to be warm in a minute. So I'm going to let that boil a little bit. Okay. Now I could have put two in. But I'm going to eat all the cauliflower in that serving. Okay, so I'm going to heat my wok. It's the wok in here. I'm going to heat that. <laughs> all right, and while that's heating up a little bit, I'm going to take my cauliflower out. Now, some of the pieces got a little burnt, but that's okay. We'll be all right when I when I toss it up in that sauce. We're gonna be good. Okay. Yeah, real simple, real easy meal for dinner. Because who got time to be in the kitchen all day? You don't work all day. You're hungry. So that's boiling. I always wipe around. I just I have to wipe and clean as I go along. So my wok is getting hot. I'm going to put a little grapeseed oil for good measure. Just a dab. Bloop. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer this cauliflower. And didn't cauliflower come up, y'all? Like, cauliflower came up. That was one of my most hated vegetables besides beets and okra growing up. Um, now, I mess this with cauliflower, cauliflower rice. A lot of the places love cauliflower now. Okay. I'm not going to season the cauliflower because one, it was already in a broth. But two, the sauce is seasoned enough. So, and let me just say, this pasta doesn't even have to cook long because it technically is already cooked. Okay. Now, in the of course, in the in the bag that this cauliflower came in this serving. It looked like it was more than what it was. Not. Okay, now we're gonna put the sauce. What drew it to me, I should have kept the front of the container. I only kept the directions. But it drew me in when I saw it. I said, oh, that looks good. I said, you know, I'm gonna try that. That's my. That's all you're gonna see in my hair from that. Um. <laughs> oh, it smells just like I went to take out. And what you wanna do is coat the cauliflower. That's what I'm talking about. It's smelling good. I'm gonna turn this water off. up really nice. I'm going to add 
some green onion in here. I love green onion. I don't know about y'all, but my love a little green onion. I just want a little dash of sesame oil. We don't need much. It's very concentrated. Ooh, ooh, that sauce tastes amazing. And it's and this is done. This is done. You just want to heat up that sauce and caramelize the cauliflower. This looks delicious. And it already has sesame in it. Mm, delicious. So now I'm just going to drain my pasta here, my konjac noodles, my Kodak black noodles, my Kojak noodles, whatever you want to call it. serving. Okay. I'm going to turn off. All right. We done. I'm just going to plate this bad boy. I could have did another noodle. I could have. This looks flimsy, but so tomorrow's always another day. Good tomorrow. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put that on the plate there. Oh, that sauce is good. Take this here and put it on top. And that scrapes everything off the plate. Now I'm going to no games. Oh, yeah, y'all know I'm greedy. Call it what a T-I is, okay? I said, let me buy it just one time. And if I like it, I'll come back there and get it again. So, yes, this meal is done. Let me just put a couple of more green onions. And we are done. We are done, baby. Let me let you get up close and personal. Can y'all see it? There you go. General. Is the light good? Can y'all see? General Sows Cauliflower. I'll take a picture so y'all can really see how it came out. But yeah, it was really easy. I got this at Costco's. Um, a lot of places, Costco's and BJ's sell the same thing. So yeah, definitely check it out. Definitely, definitely check it out. And I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, tell a friend, tell a friend. It's me again. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.